Anakin Skywalker had always had an extremely traumatic relationship with death and life itself, stemming from frustrations of not being able to protect the ones that he loved. From the beginning, he felt great sorrow not being able to save the life of the Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, someone who he had hoped would be like a father to him, and then later, he failed to save the life of his mother. This would send Anakin into a spiral, as he promised that he would never lose anyone he loved ever again, and if he had to, that it would all lead to the destination of him being able to stop those he loved from dying. However, Anakin Skywalker would soon come face to face with the epitome of death, the Clone War, as the young boy's traumatic events had now led him here, a battlefield riddled with death. Anakin Skywalker's emotions ran turbulent, as all he desired was to achieve this power. But what made things even worse is the Jedi had an exceptionally rare ability of Force Heal, something that Anakin was very angry with. But why exactly was this? Why did Force Heal cause Anakin to become so angry? And what was it about the ability that he attempted time and time again to master, but repeatedly failed? Today, we'll be drawing largely from the Star Wars Legends novel Wild Space, as well as from the Star Wars Legends Clone Wars comics, where Anakin Skywalker is brought face to face with death over and over again, coming to the reality that at the time, he was not as powerful as he believed that he should be. A constant reminder of that was the Clone War. In the Star Wars novel Wild Space, it is revealed that Palpatine has set a bomb on Coruscant, although the Jedi and the Council do not know this, as they believed it was planted there by the Separatists. However, it is revealed that Palpatine himself had the bomb planted in order to sow more hatred between the Separatists and the Republic, launching a full attack on Coruscant without the Separatists even having knowledge of this. In the subsequent bombing, Obi-Wan Kenobi would be gravely injured, and Anakin would use his connection to his master to find him among the rubble, finding a severely injured Jedi Master. Anakin, though, in this moment, is filled with great rage, as he doesn't even attempt to heal Obi-Wan Kenobi, realizing this power is beyond his grasp, as this is mere weeks following the death of his own mother. This is yet another constant reminder of just how weak Anakin perceives himself to be at this point. He is supposed to be the chosen one. He has the most potential of any being in the entire galaxy, and an ability to touch the Force unlike anyone else. And yet, and yet, Force Heal eludes him, continues to merely mock him. Notably though, when Yoda arrives, he too does not heal Obi-Wan Kenobi, but instead, they transport Obi-Wan back to the temple, where a group of seasoned Jedi healers begin work on his body. It is here where we get a look into Anakin Skywalker's mind, and the rage that he feels being unable to tap into Force Heal. But why is this? Why did Anakin have such trouble with this? Well, this all goes to his own perspective on the Force. Force Heal is an extremely rare ability among Jedi. In fact, Obi-Wan even says this to his young Padawan, doing so in hopes that Anakin will not be so difficult on himself. Obi-Wan says that individuals have to be naturally attuned to the ability of Force Heal, and that even some of the most powerful Jedi, such as Mace Windu and Yoda, have an extremely difficult time with the ability. It is not something that necessarily can be learned through drilling and through knowledge, Rather, one has to have a natural attunement towards it. That is why an individual such as Barriss Afi, a lower-powered Jedi Padawan, was able to achieve this power. This only continued to mock Anakin though later in the Clone War, as during another battle, when a Jedi was gravely injured, Anakin attempted to use the Force to force this Jedi to continue breathing, with the Jedi Master Asherod Het being absolutely horrified with what Anakin was attempting to do to force the body of this Jedi to continue functioning, using the Force on a microscopic level to continue the natural functionality of a body, beyond their own life passing away. This is something that greatly disturbed the Jedi Master, as he called it sick and twisted, not realizing that the Force could be used in such a wretched manner. And yet, Skywalker persisted. He continued his fascination with healing others. Unfortunately, this gift would only come to him after he became Lord Vader. It is revealed that the ability of Force Heal is one more attuned to that of a Jedi Consular. The Consulars are not the warriors, the Guardians are the warriors of the galaxy, 
and Anakin Skywalker was the greatest warrior there was, never bothering himself with the greater mysteries of the Force, and hoping that he could operate on pure power and skill alone. It was because of this in large part that the ability of Force Heal eluded the exceptionally powerful Chosen One, because he was not attuned to the Force on a deep level like the Consulars were. Anakin wielded the Force as a weapon, wielding it to enact justice upon the galaxy, while the Consulars simply viewed themselves as scholars and keepers of the peace using more of an intellectual and spiritual approach to the Force. In many ways, this went against what Anakin Skywalker deeply wanted. Anakin Skywalker wanted to affect change and to use his power to affect the galaxy for the better, not simply look back idly and ponder on the Force. Anakin was a warrior, and Anakin was a man of action. But it was because of this that he struggled with his own inner harmony and his inner peace, something that drew directly from the ability of Force Heal. What made things even worse, though, is that Kenobi himself actually had some affinity with Force Heal. As we saw, he actually used it on Luke Skywalker in A New Hope, and even on other individuals. It was revealed, though, that there are certain extents to how much Force Heal can be wielded, and that if an individual's injuries are far too grievous to be completely recovered from, that a Jedi using the Force to heal someone's body will have very little effect if they are too far gone. This is one of the major reasons why Obi-Wan was unable to fully heal Qui-Gon Jinn, as Qui-Gon knew it was too late and that his injuries were fatal. This over time, though, did not dissuade Anakin Skywalker from becoming fascinated with Force Heal and his anger and his inability to master it growing further. As Darth Vader, he continued his studies, and Lord Vader even discovered an avenue through the dark side of the Force where he could heal himself, even achieving to heal his body and his lungs for small periods of time. In The Rise of the Dark Lord, it is revealed that Darth Vader uses the dark side to heal his body. However, as soon as his body is healed, and the pain of his burns dissipate, and fresh air enters his lungs, he is filled with a sense of happiness and relief. And it is this relief that stops the dark side machinations from continuing. It is this joy that robs Darth Vader of the ability to focus on the pain. It is the pain that heals him. And the second that the pain is gone, the ability to fades. Unfortunately, Anakin Skywalker's relationship with the Force was not attuned to that of Force Heal. And when he attempted to use Force Heal on an individual in the Clone War, by forcing their very body to continue to live after their time was gone, and after they were slowly slipping into the Force itself, what was created was a monstrosity and an abomination, a horrific way of wielding the Force itself, something that the Jedi were very frightened of, something that they were shocked that Anakin would even attempt in the first place. The truth of the matter is that Anakin was simply not naturally gifted with the ability of Force Heal, and his own trauma only made things worse, an inability to achieve true inner peace and commune with the Force itself to heal another's body was something that he always would struggle with. Anakin Skywalker was an excellent Jedi Guardian, an excellent bringer of justice and peace, a man of action. He was not, though, a man of serenity like his master, Obi-Wan, would later become. Anakin was never at peace with his own abilities or himself, and he would constantly blame the Jedi for holding him back in power being extremely insecure about how naturally strong he really was. And to see those nowhere near his power level, such as Barriss Offee, and other Padawans being naturally gifted with something that he desired so deeply, made him even more frustrated with his own progression. As in his own mind, he should have been capable of this and far, far more. And if the Jedi did not have the answers to the ability to heal and save the ones that he loved, and he would ultimately turn to the Sith. I absolutely love this small piece of lore. It seems as if oftentimes Anakin Skywalker is viewed as this invincible force, and I do like the idea of his story, him being confronted with something that lesser individuals in his own mind are capable of, something that he desires so deeply. It just makes the character more interesting and complex, extremely powerful, but not invincible like he thinks he should be. But if you, my friends, have been enjoying these videos on Anakin Skywalker, it would help us out a great deal if you could reach out and leave a like. But now, what are your thoughts on Anakin and the ability that he was unable to master in Force Heal? What are your thoughts on the evolution of Anakin and why he ultimately turned to the Sith but would fail there as well? As always, friends, thank you so much for visiting the channel today, and may the Force be with you.